Along with the Dow, oil prices have risen in recent months, right now hovering at about $60 a barrel. Along with the weakening dollar, those two factors are making for better times for ag commodity prices across the board. Joining us now is Neil Melanson with this week's Bottom Line. And uh, Neil, how long can we expect prices on the commodity markets to go up? Well, Mike, what we're seeing right now is a strengthening of the fundamental forces that are driving the ag market. I've told you recently about the South American crop being much smaller than expected, combined with record Chinese imports of soybeans. Now, while this has really only affected soybeans, things are shaping up for the other ag markets as well. First, let's take a look at the soybean planting situation where we're right at 48% planted, which is on par with the trade estimates between 45 and 50%. However, it's significantly behind the five-year average pace of 65%. Corn is in the same boat with having hit the 82% mark this past week, well within the 80 to 85% estimate. It's behind last year, though, by quite a few percentage points, while wet weather has delayed planting and it's significantly behind the five-year average. The bottom line is we have both corn and beans behind in planting, exports to other countries rising, and the U.S. the main source as South America dries up. Oil prices also on the rise, which means a boost to ethanol, and subsequently, corn and the weaker dollar makes our commodities cheaper for other countries. In the long term, the planning delays from wet weather in the Midwest mean increased risk of lower yields come harvest time, which could mean, Mike, a lot higher prices to come. And Neil, would that possibly equate to higher prices at both the pump and at the grocery store? Well, we're already seeing a trend higher in food prices, although food inflation is kind of reduced. However, oil going up and the summertime makes for higher prices at the pump. That is always the case. Thank you very much.